Hey guys, it's Tomo again. Today I'm going to teach you how you can use your Android smartphone to transfer ROMs onto a Raspberry Pi Zero. This is really handy if you don't have a Wi-Fi connection on your Raspberry Pi and also if you don't have a spare USB drive to transfer the games onto. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use ES File Manager Pro. Now you can use a free version, um, it's absolutely fine. All I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my SD card and I am just going to create a directory which is going to be called quite simply Retro Pi. Now you need to call it that, specifically Retro Pi. So we're going to that folder there, there's nothing in there. So what I'm going to do now, off screen, is connect my phone to my Raspberry Pi Zero. So I'll just do that now. Okay, and then I'm getting options here of what I want to use USB for. If I select mass storage mode and press OK, then the Raspberry Pi Zero is actually going to think that it's actually connected to a USB drive. So your Raspberry Pi Zero light will flash for a few seconds. Just waiting for that to finish doing its work now. Still going. Okay, looks like it's finished. So now I'm going to disconnect the USB cable. And these messages are just coming up on my phone because, yes, file manager can't find the folder that was open. So we jump back to ES File Manager Pro and go into the Retro Pi folder. And what you'll find now is the Raspberry Pi Zero has created the file system that it requires to copy games, um, ROMs, etc. onto the Raspberry Pi Zero. So all you need to do now is, using your phone, you can unzip... Uh, some of the ROMs into the relevant folders and then the next time you connect it to the Raspberry Pi Zero it will actually transfer it onto the SD card just using the same method so I thought it was quite a handy tip as there wasn't really anywhere on the internet that showed that you could do this so thanks for watching and please do ask questions in the comments and I'll always answer thank you, bye